<laughs> Where are we going? Oh man, it's a big bike to be doing this with. Oh, oh shit. Oh my. Hmm. Well, you must be wondering how I got here. Well, actually, well, it all started when I arrived at this group ride. I had the idea of looking at Christmas lights for a good Christmas video, just going around in neighborhoods and looking at different decorations. And my brother reminded me of that idea for Halloween, which I forgot to do it. So I want to do it again for Christmas because I already did it before back in 2021. But anyways, I arrived at this group ride. We're going to look at some Christmas lights. And what it made it even better for me is that it's going to be my first attendance to an electric group ride since I always do gas ones. So we eventually go, we head out, we get to our first spot, and man, this neighborhood was decked out when it comes to the decorations. This is the most craziest decorations I've ever seen, at least in person. I've seen some stuff like this in videos, but never in person. We're about to go to our next route, and first things first, the route was kind of scrambled. I think the group leader, I don't know if they didn't remember the path or what was going on, but it was a little bit scrambled, so we were kind of all over the place. So as we get back on the road, we're driving for a little bit, and then I thought we are about to do a Yui, but they ended up going on the sidewalk. Oh, we're on the sidewalk. Um, I'm personally not a fan of being on the sidewalk. I've had many instances in the past where I felt like I was going to get hit by a car just being on the sidewalk, because it just never feels like people are paying attention when they're about to leave a parking lot and get to the main road. It just doesn't seem like they ever see you. I don't even like walking on the sidewalk, but we were on the sidewalk. It was all good. Nothing crazy was happening. We weren't doing no stupid speeds. We went straight for a while and that's when we ended up here now as the group leader you can see he goes across the road he watches the way make sure those cars is coming i see other people adjusting their bikes to go down a little spot i'm like i can't do that so i'm just gonna go ahead and get off the curb so obviously i'm not just gonna follow behind this guy it could be clear for him but more cars come right after so i looked both ways i looked right i looked left coast was clear the cars on the left were too far back i was going to clearly get past them easily so i get on the road I hit my acceleration up a little bit so I can hurry up and cross. And then out of nowhere, I see headlights. Now at this very moment when I see headlights comes panic. First thing I'm thinking is, I just looked. There was no cars. Where the hell did this car come from? And it looks like it's moving fairly fucking fast. Second stage of panic was even more panic. And now it's me mashing my front brakes. But by the time I hit the brakes, even if I hit the brakes sooner, we were just too close coming in too fast I would have not had enough time to stop but at this point we're too close now I'm just preparing to die I where are we going oh man it's a big bike to be doing this with oh shit oh my holy shit that would have happened Y'all, I really just got hit by a car. Oh, I'm confused. I don't even know what the fuck is right now. Right. You okay, bro? Yeah, I'm fine. You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll help you. Hey. Unbelievable. Thank you. Yeah, man. You just ran off like that? I what a fucking kept driving? Yeah, he just he just kept I driving. It. I got it on film there. You have it on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't even see what kind of car Thanks. it was. It looked like uh, no, red. Family? Yeah, I did. No, no, it was a, I think it was a white Toyota. Bro, and he just kept going. Now I'm just confused, but I'm pissed. I'm shocked, but I'm irritated. I'm perplexed but I'm vexed, I'm flabbergasted, but I'm bamboozled, I'm annoyed, like there's so much running through my head right now that I literally cannot properly think and comprehend that this just fucking happened. And then what makes it 10 times worse, I get hit by this car and now I'm hearing people say that this person just drove off. They just pretty much hit and run. I got one too, I got blue one. Nice yeah. cars. Uh. You sure you okay bro? Yeah. Okay, man. Where'd he hit you? What kind of car it was? Like, more, I think he more hit the car on the bike, luckily. He really hit me. Bro, as long as you're okay. Yeah. 
Yo, I got that shit on. Yeah, on. If my camera's still working, I think that doesn't work. Uh, but I, I was. I got 360. So I was sent two separate footages. The first one being this Tesla footage with the blinker lights right there. It was a lady driving. And the second one from the man you hear in the background, that is David right there. He had his 360 camera on his scooter. You can't see too much in both clips because they're sent through phone. The quality was really low. But this footage right here allows you to get a good idea of how fast this person was moving. The person that hit me was a lady. She said she was doing 45. To me, I thought she was doing 60. Other people couldn't assume 55 to 60. But you can see her zoom by. And this other footage is just another perspective. Oh, no. Oh my God. Holy shit. Are they quick? Are they quick or are they bent? They're bent. They're bent the hell up. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I was a hit and run. Oh my God. Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys. Well, I am fine. I'm gonna be right back. Exactly where you were when this happened. Well, um, the cops are here. There goes my bike. Yeah. So you can see the Toyota is sitting here because one, um, she came around, she passed us, and then she never stopped. So I pointed out that I think that's the car. She kept driving. Two people chased her down. I think even the Tesla followed her. So she came back again, and then eventually she stopped. Uh, as she pulled over, one of the ladies in the group ride, I think one of the group leaders, her name's Jennifer, she was going off. She's like, you know, I got kids of my own and blah, 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 blah. And then eventually, uh, Jennifer called the cops. So as you can see, the cops arrived. And me, I didn't even ask too much questions, if I'm being honest, because I'm still, like, just bamboozled and struggling to understand that this just happened. And like I said, I didn't take any injuries. Uh, you saw me get up right away. I don't think I have any head injuries. I hope I don't. I feel perfectly fine, but I just couldn't process that that really just happened. Here's what I'm trying to figure out, right? With, you're on a bike, but as a bike, you have to follow the rules of the road. Yeah. So even though that crosswalk thing was going for pedestrians, you're making a left when she's coming straight, which technically gives her the right of way mm. as far as the rules of the road goes. Now, if you were a pedestrian, it would be different, but you're not allowed to ride your bike through a crosswalk. That would also be illegal. It meant to walk through. So, I'm still... Even though we are on the road and going across the road? Yes, you're on a bicycle. Right. Follow the rules of the road. So, if you're making a left, you have to stop and make sure it's clear to go. On the crosswalk. Were you walking the bike across? No. So on a bicycle, it's the rules of the road. Okay. If you're on the wrong side of the road, it's still illegal. Um, I'm gonna call my sergeant on this one because it's I don't usually deal with you know, bicycles. Usually it's different than the circumstances. But on a bicycle, you still have to follow regular rules of the road. Lights at the same time as cars. You have to stop for stop signs. You're crossing. They have they have a right of way here. So if you're crossing this way, whether this is on or not, to me, doesn't matter, you're not a pedestrian. So you don't, crosswalks don't apply to you on a bicycle. But again, I'm gonna call my sergeant on this one because it's more convoluted than anything I've had. Right. But I don't think he's gonna say anything different than what I just said. Now this cop right here actually let us off because as he was saying, pretty much we were in the wrong, but we did not leave with any tickets or fines or anything. And I think um, the cops just pretty much was like, okay, you did hit the button. This lady did run through the crosswalk lights. So she gets a citation, but you're alive. And you know what? I'm not going to slap anything extra on y'all because I know y'all are frightened and bamboozled by this whole situation. And you, you almost died, but you didn't. So just get home safe and don't ever do this again. Which I'm cool with that. I'm not even pushing no insurance shit, no case shit. I'm just happy to be alive right now. But after that, nothing really crazy happened. The lady that was questioning the officer, her name's Jennifer. She um, wrote her statement and then kind of just, my parents arrived and then we waited for a tow truck to pick up the bike up so we can get back home. And I guess that was the end of the night for me and everybody else, maybe they continue to roll off. But with that being said, I kind of want to just state my opinion on this. 
And to be honest, like I said earlier, I'm just not a fan of being on the sidewalk. And I personally think this would have never happened if we never went on the sidewalk. Because when we did the turn and we eventually went on the sidewalk, we kept going straight. We never took any other turns that would have made the route quicker. We didn't do any of that. Um, we went straight on the sidewalk. And as you see, when we tried to cross, we were trying to get to another road. If we went in the turning lane, like we originally did, and just turned left, not only could we get to that road we were trying to get to sooner without having to cross the entire street, it would have been far safer and that would have never happened. And I think that street didn't really have bike lanes, like actual painted bike lanes. But usually when there's a street that doesn't have bike lanes and I'm driving slow, so I don't want to be in the way of traffic, I just drive on the very far side of the right lane. Like really close to the sidewalk as if there's a bike lane there and I mean cops see me do it they've never pulled me over cars they either stay behind me or they go around majority of the time they go around because I'm only doing like 25 to 30 miles per hour because I'm trying to save battery and I'm going somewhere far that's what I do every time I'm trying to get to a group ride that's what I did during this group ride um yeah I guess these people at the group ride never did that before so they didn't think of doing it whatever the situation was regardless if we just never went on the sidewalk going on the sidewalk there was no point in doing it we didn't need to and if we just never did not that would have never happened but, I mean, it is what it is, and I guess maybe it was a learning lesson. Maybe it needed to happen. I don't know. I'm alive, and I had, don't even have a single injury from what I know of. I mean, I think I would know if I had an injury after something like that, and I came out completely clean. So, like David and the group leader said, I must have had angels watching me because the fact that that happened, I literally have not a single broken bone or any sort of damage. is crazy. Now, my second opinion on this was... What didn't make it easy is uh, whoever designed this street, I guess, was trying to make it look more stylish than practical, I guess, if that's the correct word to use. Because now that I look back at this footage, as y'all can see, I looked right, I looked left. I went on the road, I went to look right again. If I remember correctly, I think I looked right again because I felt like I was hearing a car, which I was correct on that. But the median in between the road was so fucking tall, I couldn't see the car from a distance. The car was clearly been coming through. The lady even said she saw the group leader, uh, I don't know his name, but she saw him and she thought it was just him, so she kept going. Now I'm confused by that because when I saw her headlights, should have been the same time she saw mine, so I almost feel like she was looking at her phone or looking down, wasn't looking at the road, but regardless, the median was so tall, if I would have saw the car, I would have never crossed because she was clearly going to be too close. And by the time I did see the car, of course, as you can see, I had to get really close to see her car pass the median. When my parents arrived, it's a very long median too. And even they said the median was super tall. And to make it even worse, the street curves. So it's not like a straight line where I could at least saw a little bit of lights. No, it curves. So eventually, after she's done curving around the road, then I would see it. But regardless, the median was so tall with all the high up ass rocks and the bushes, and let's say you're a passenger in the rear seat of the car. If you try to look at the opposite side of the road for like a view or something, you wouldn't even be able to see people on the other side because the median, once again, is just that tall. But I guess that's my opinion on that. And with all that being said... And this is where I just want to let y'all know that uh, boy is retiring from the two wheels at least for a little bit. And I'm assuming y'all should understand, <laughs> obviously with the clips I just showed you, I need a, a bit of a long break from these two pairs of wheels. It's been about, what, three days now? <laughs> and I damn near still can't even believe this shit happened. Right now, I'm kind of just taking this time to rethink life, because like, your boy literally almost died. There's two, maybe even three steps of how much worse this crash could have been. After looking at the footage, and if I didn't already, I'll show a slow-mo clip. I thought, as I was coming in, I thought she hit my front wheel. Turns out, because I was able to, I hit my brakes, I guess fast enough to not fully be in front of the lady, I actually think I hit her side and that's what caused her car to you know forcefully whiplash and 
do the damage it did to my bike. But if I was at least a foot closer and she did hit my wheel, the first worst step would be this bike flying harder and obviously me being on it, I would have flew in the air harder and landed, broke a few, if not, a, uh, broke a lot of bones, honestly, and possibly got some serious head injur injuries from hitting the ground. If I got any closer or sped off a little faster and she would have hit my leg area, that being number two, uh, completely my leg's gone. There's no way my leg would survive that hit. And honestly, I think I would have smacked the head of her car and flew off and hit the ground so hard. I think I'd have serious brain damage and possibly like in a wheelchair forever. Or seeing that, I don't know, my helmet's not the most expensive. That is a 3,000 pound car. She was moving. She had to be moving damn near 60. I could have just died from that. Like I literally could have died from that. It's just ridiculous. Not a way to end the year. Like literally Christmas is coming up. Literally at the time of that being recorded, which was, was the 16th when I was recording that video, four, four days away from my mom's birthday. And she had to deal with her son passing away. So like I said, man, I expect y'all to understand, but uh, your boy is taking the break from the two wheels. And then obviously the second reason, which be an obvious reason why I got to take a break from the two wheels, I mean, look at my bike. <laughs> It's not in a very drivable condition. And I mean, yeah, I got my Suron, but Suron can only go so far. It's still stock. So the group rides I like to do the far travels with Jay. Like, we just recently went to the Shrip. This thing's going to the Shrip with big-ass accent on it, but I mean, couldn't do much. It was a really slow trip. You had to do an eco mode just for us to not even be down in the trip that long. But y'all get the point. This is kind of my far range bike, and there's no way I'm driving this. I don't even have brakes anymore. That broke off. Hey, our adapter is fairly strong, though. Honestly, honestly, the only thing that's really destroyed is our forks. Obviously, our handlebars, which those are cheaper repairs. It's not as expensive as having to get a whole new motor or battery or controller, especially battery. Um, so to be honest, I mean, when it comes to fixing this bike, I don't mean to sound like your typical mechanic, but I can fix it. It's obvious that our battery works. Seeing that lights and everything still work when it comes to throttle cables and all that shit i mean i can always get in some new throttles it's also cheap number one when i come back i'm definitely gonna have some gear so i can be seen like i said the sidewalk driving those people are cool um if that's how they drive that's how they drive a lot of e-bike riders ride like that but i was never a fan of being on the sidewalks i'm not even a fan of walking on the sidewalks this wouldn't even be my first time dealing with getting hit by a car this would actually be my second i guess first because i actually got hit by this car the first time was more of a shove, but let's just say I'm walking, I'm kick scooting on the sidewalk trying to go to work. The street, they're leaving the parking lot, but I go to the main road, and I thought they seen me. It's because they were sitting there. I'm staring at them for at least four seconds. The windows are tinted, so I really can't see them. But I'm assuming they see me because they're not driving. As soon as I go to kick scoot right in front of them to pass, I get shot by a car, and I'm in the middle of the street on my ass, wondering, wow, just got hit by a car. And that too, another thing I just uh, almost forgot to mention, I don't think it's major, but I have been carrying a very slight headache uh, for the last three days after that. And um, like I say, it's not fucking with my day or anything or affecting anything, but it is there. And I don't know if that means I have a slight concussion. If it gets worse, then I'm gonna go ahead and get a hospital checkup. But right now it is where it is and it's still a small headache. So if I do have a mild concussion, then I definitely need to relax. My parents got me on. <laughs> For the people who don't know, I do live with my parents. I am 21, but they got me on uh, two-wheel punishment. And honestly, I'm not mad at them. I'm sure you would do the same for your kids if they almost died in a motorcycle accident. Yeah. I'm hoping to come back with something very big, something very special that y'all will love. I think y'all will love personally. Uh, and like I said, I can't promise nothing, but I'm really hoping I can, even if once again that means it's going to elongate my return. I don't think y'all mind if it does, because if I can get this thing done, I think y'all going to love it. Also, while I'm gone, I'm going to try to recoup the money to fix this bike. Shit, when I, when I can build one of my new bikes, my mom wanted this one anyways, so I'm definitely going to fix this up. 
so I can eventually get back on the road and I can eventually give this to her because obviously it's still in working condition when I fix this up. But it has been me, y'all. It has been me. Like I said, I'll be back soon. I'm not done with this two-wheel shit. I'm not done forever. I will make my return. But until then, I'm out. Peace.